Amid an economic crisis compounded by the coronavirus pandemic, Argentina's Foreign Office is leading the country's efforts to expand exports. Already a large exporter of beef, Argentina is now in talks with China over a multi-billion dollar joint investment to turbocharge pork production in the South American nation for export exclusively to China. The foreign ministry says Argentina could double pork production in the next four years, potentially generating thousands of jobs and more than $2 billion in exports each year. Argentina has proposed a series of conditions. We need to maintain our sanitary status, which is that we are free of disease. But also production from that project must be exclusively for China. It must not be sale for our domestic market. That is the only fear in the sector here and the authorities understand that. Argentina's government wants to locate production in the northern provinces to inject investments and lift the flagging local economy. But the possibility of ramping up large-scale agricultural production has alarmed environmental groups. Many prominent activists have signed an open letter in opposition to the project. Concerns raised include the industrial impact on local communities, animal rights, infectious diseases and social rights in a country with a rising poverty rate. In Argentina there is hunger. We keep talking about producing food for the rest of the world, but there is not enough food guaranteed for our own country. That is not because there is not enough food, but because of the lack of access to that food and because this economic model makes people poor. Last year's Africa swine fever outbreak forced China to take drastic action to secure an ample pork supply, one of the staples of the country's diet. The debate over expanding pork production will continue, but Argentina's government hopes to sign the deal with China in the coming months. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.